and thinking that it's a bad thing when you actually each and every one of us here was is a product of our parents having sex with each other so how could that be a bad thing just use your logic for a moment just think logically that if there is this act between man and woman that leads into producing and creating a new human being and that's the same same thing in the nature with the rest rest of the mammals then how could it be a bad thing I don't know I can't figure it out what's bad about it two is as soon as you reach puberty all you think about is having sex and you're welcome to if you don't remember <laughs> that time well it's very simple start talking to the teenagers or rewind your tape and go back and see how much you used to think about sex or how much you think about it now most people I talk to who are honest and I know them um, fairly well and I'm able to talk to them and ask them questions I say how much do you think about sex and they tell me they pretty much think about it every day so if something you're thinking about every day or most of your time you think about it how could it be a bad thing how could it be shameful how could it be evil? How could it be dark? I, I don't understand that. I need someone to explain that to me because I can't figure it out. And I have been thinking about this for a number of years, trying to really make some sense out of it. But all I can think about is the fact that we're being brainwashed and still to this age at this era in 21st century in year 2020 there is still no proper sex education and any kind of system any kind of um a sort of a school a general school in mass me ma in in the mainstream of talking about the benefits of having sex none that I know of and I can't find now let's talk about some of the benefit there's like at least 10 different benefits of every time you're having an orgasm so the nature has created sexuality to reproduce has created sexuality that you can come to full self-realization through having sex and that's tantric sexuality and something that you really take pleasure of and it's an act that really if you're doing it regularly you don't really want to go to war you don't really want to go and fight another country because you're getting it most of the time that most men most armies is full of men most of the men who want to go to war is because they're not getting it if you're having sex regularly you don't want to go to war you don't want to fight anybody you don't even want to be violent because you're very happy you're getting it regularly and look at yourself when you're getting it look how happy you are when you're really getting it right you're smiling you're happy you're kind and when you're not getting it you're bitchy you're angry you're an asshole and 
you're judgmental because they cut off the very, very main energy center of your life, your sexual energy. Now, when you're sexually active and you're able to express yourself and you have gone beyond guilt and shame and, and you're allowing the flow to happen and you're having orgasms, every time you're having an orgasm, your body creates certain kind of chemicals and hormones. These, these chemical and hormones boost your immune system it's anti-aging. It creates hormones that allows your hair to grow better. You sleep better. It creates hormones and agents in the body that you're able to fight disease, uh, cold, um, pathogens. Um, it's just I'll just give you a little bit of the research I've done. For example, uh, orgasm helps the body to create a hormone. It's a DHEA that helps hair to grow. It produces HGH, which is human growth hormone. It creates oxytocin, which it's a hormone that helps people bond together and be kind to each other. It produces serotonin. It's a feel-good hormone. It's antidepressant. It creates another hormone. It's the immunoglobin, which is it's anti uh, it. It uh, boosts up your immune system, so it's very good for um, cold and flu. And as I mentioned, it, it, it does stimulate the body to create um, all kinds of different chemicals to fight pathogens and uh, antioxidants. 